And now, to the millions and millions of listeners and viewers all across the world. Let's go. It's the That's Not Christian Podcast. Dale, dale, dale. So, yeah, um, I mean, and I would say for him to be careful because after I heard these last two records from Sayla and Fern, Yo. they definitely got the momentum yeah. right now. So I, I definitely wouldn't want to engage on a lyrical combat. <laughs> yeah, man. Tell, tell us a little bit about what you got going on. Um, I see you got the Silencer series, right? the 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 you you got a couple singles drop like i feel like god just kind of dropped everything that i have right now in my lap during the pandemic um none of this existed it wasn't planned it was just me like being in the cave i can't go outside because it's the pandemic stopped everything in new york you know what i'm saying so i'm in my house I built a studio. That's how much time I had. Like I built a studio from scratch. You know what I'm saying? Fed like 30 families, you know, for the pandemic. Like I had the um the the the, the verses for nurses initiative. So like I was doing features to to help people buy groceries because they couldn't That's work. Dope. You know? That's dope. Wow. And, and then all of a sudden, like Fern just hit me up. We had already been in contact already. But like just sporadically, like, yo, what's up? How you doing? You know, I'm good. And he was like, yo, you know what I don't like about CHH right now? And then that conversation was like, yeah, I don't like this neither. I don't like that neither. All right, right so what we going to do about it? And that's where these records came from, us being tired of complaining about it and just doing something. You know what I'm saying? So that's where exactly all of it came from, man. And, and we just been working. Yo, Fern gives me a 16 a day. Like, he sends me a 16 a day. Wow. It's been- wow like six months it's been like that every day is 16 so mm. it's just great being challenged by them like that like it's dope it's dope and i love it and we're gonna put out a lot of music man a lot of music yo that's fire that's so fire. now is this gonna keep dropping like one by one is this gonna be a collective thing or i mean it's still undecided i mean a lot a lot is undecided even though a lot is decided if that makes sense like i'm I'm dropping them as they as they finish. You know what I'm saying? Um, we got a lot of stuff together, but as far as getting the visualizers, like the movie theme joints that y'all been saying, like we're very intentional about which mo- which movie we attach to which song. Mm-hmm. Um, it's not like a random choice, like, oh, whatever. Nah, what does this song feel like? What movie does this song feel like? So uh, that part of it takes a little bit of time, but we got a bunch of music, man. We got a bunch of music coming, yo. Like it's it's gonna be cold. It's gonna be cold winter. Like, <laughs> gonna be cold. Put on your hoodies, man. Yeah, you know what I mean, and we got a hoodie season four coming out too. Man, there's only one dude that can make me re-energize the hoodie season series. There's only one dude, and the reason why it's him is Adam. because I, like his mixtape series and my mixtape series are destined to do one big project, and that's Dre Murray. Mm. Like if, we, you featured him on already. Yeah, yeah. If the Else Paradise series was groundbreaking in this space, you know what I'm saying. So if he'd be like, "Yo, I need you to dust the hoodie season sale out off one more time," and he want to, you, you know, let's pro- make it happen, then that'll happen. You know what I'm saying. Other than that, hoodie season is gonna chill, man. Like you know, like but he could do it. So I'm let's saying go. on camera, he could do it. So it's up to Let's him. Let's go. Let's go, man. Let's go. Y'all going to be moving bricks of coffee and all that. <laughs> you know <what> I mean? <laughs> Yo, that's dope, man. Mm-hmm. We definitely appreciate you, man. We we, we, we we thank you, man, for, for you know what I mean, building with us and everything, man. Anything else you got in store uh, that you can let the people know that you, that you got coming out or plan on, on coming out? Yeah, I mean, you know, Hopefully, hopefully this this hoodie that I ordered come through from y'all. You know what I'm saying? So I, you, know, you know what I'm saying? Hold on, hold on. Wait, which hoodie you talking about? Which hoodie you talking about? I say there was like I don't you know I, I'm not really familiar with a lot of legal terminology, but 
I think I think it had something to do. With, I got a, a lot of attorney friends. Something in desist. I don't know. I don't know what the other. One. <laughs> but uh, I thought it was great, great craftsmanship when I saw it online. So like, hopefully it gets to me soon out there. Um, but man, yeah, man, we, me and Fern gonna just keep dropping music, man. The, the family's gonna keep dropping music, and um, you know, there's gonna be a, there's gonna be sporadic little freestyles here and there. Like I'm gonna just stay active the whole year. Like to the years out, because I feel like 2020 is it's it, it's just an amplifier of who you are. So I right. want to show 2020 that I'm productive and I'm active. So I'm gonna just keep dropping music, man. Oh, so y'all just, just keep finish y'all strong. Finish strong, now, how, yo. How how has 2020 affected you? The pandemic. I mean, I'm sure that um, even in CHH, a lot of the shows and stuff like that, and the tours. Like, has that affected a lot of you guys that are, you know what I mean, ministering and, and doing shows and stuff like that? Hey, bro, let me make something very, very clear. It's crazy. It's, it's crazy that you asked me that, too. Everyone has been affected, no matter yeah. how little or large. Everyone has to be aware that they've been affected as well. I'm actually doing a conference, a virtual conference uh, next month called COVID-20. Okay. And in that in that conference, I'm addressing all of the all of the things that have affected you that you may not be aware of mentally, physically, emotionally. Like you might think, oh, I may be asymptomatic or it didn't touch me or nobody died in my family or I kept working. I'm fine. Nah, you got touched and you need to know that you got touched and be aware. You know what I'm saying? So it's it's affected me in that it's 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 pushed ad- adaptation. You know what I'm saying? Any any negative situation or any change in the environment is going to cause either the adaptation or you're going to fold. So I've definitely had to adapt. I've had to lean on God in a different way. Yeah. Um, and I believe, you know what I'm saying? I believe I'm, I'm very different than, than, than I was earlier this year. Like I'm very different and um, I think it's for the better. So right. um, you know, I'm grateful. I'm grateful. Sure. Yo, let's let's um I want to ask you a question, man. Let's go back to you. You had said um I want to ask you to expound. You had said that you had helped 30 families. Can you talk about yeah. that? Yeah, man. I, I just like when I talk to my friends, my love about what they're going through. Um I just realized like we talk, you know, you hear you hear the word white privilege, the term white privilege spoken about and you know, it's 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 easier to explain than what I'm about to. Like, if I have a job, when ev- when a lot of people don't have jobs, yeah. If I got money, when a lot of people don't got money, I'm in a position of privilege at that point, right? You know, what I'm saying? and I kept my job. I was working regularly. You know, what I'm saying everybody in my family was healthy. It was like God was throwing me a thousand alley oops. So right. for me to see those blessings and not help nobody, I felt would have been trash. You know, what I'm saying so. I started that initiative. I noticed a lot of our medical healthcare professionals was like doing crazy shifts, trying to help people, trying to keep people alive, trying to keep people healthy. Yeah. And a lot of them didn't have daycare money because they was just at the hospital all the time. A lot of them were just tired. They needed some kind of uplift. You know what I'm saying? Right. So I, you know what? I'm going to start with that. I'm going to start with the nurses. So I started doing verses for half price and I would give like 90% of the proceeds to somebody else. Wow. But then I ran out of nurses. It was like, who else now? So I just started to give regular families, man. And I just started wow. doing it over and over again, man. We ended up filling up 30 refrigerators, like I think 100 to $150 a clip. Wow. 30 families. Wow. You know what I'm saying? That's dope. Um, the blessing yeah. in it, I believe God blessed me with the fern situation as like, as a result of my, my service. Right. I really feel like that because it really came out of nowhere. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Um. But yeah, man. That joint, it, that joint got over money for real. For real. Yo, for real, for God real. Prove it. He made me prove it. He right. was like, yo, is it got over money? All right, let's see. You know what I'm saying? So I'm thankful let's for that. Let's go. That's dope. I remember, right. um, Praise God. And, and when, before you did that, I remember, um, I think you dropped like a note in the barbershop chat and you were like, yo, anybody in here needs, you know, anything. That's right. I did see that. That's hit, right. Hit yeah. me on the side. You know what I'm I saying? I remember that. Yeah, and I was like, "Yo, that's 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 pretty dope, man." That's you know, but like, if I, to not help my brothers, man. It's backwards, you know what I'm saying? Like, cause n- nobody I gave bread to, I knew. So 
I'm like, yo, I got this, I got this paper to help people. Let me ask my bros. And that's why I said, like, no, not everybody might feel comfortable saying it out loud that I need help. So I'm right. like, yo, hit, you know, hit me on a direct. If you need bread, ain't no, ain't, ain't nothing, ain't nothing left, you know, not manly about asking for help. Like, right. holla, I got you. You know what I'm saying? Right. So, and, and it'll always be like that. If I start that up again, if one of y'all in this room need paper and I start that up, like, hit me up. I got you. You know what I'm saying? Like, we're supposed to hold That's each other love. down. Appreciate that. Yeah. That's love. Facts. Awesome. I need them. Right. I need some new Jordans for real. This guy. <laughs> nah, come on. How you just gonna come on. get this guy out of here, yo? <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> yo, yo, you gotta watch out for them. Yo, oh, like that. Right. You see, you see, you see me on the ground, like yo, yeah, got some new dunks. You know what I mean? Yo, Shout out to my man. Say yo, like. these dudes from the Bronx be having fake charities and all that, man. Oh man, <laughs> see. He said, save a Puerto Rican family, right? <laughs> Help with <Okay>. shoes. <laughs> this guy. Th that's the dude that's trying to rob people for their antibodies right there. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> that's not Christian. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. But yeah, man. Wow. Sailor, we, we appreciate you, man. Um, if you want to drop your... You know your IG for the people that don't know. I'm pretty sure everybody's well, pretty familiar with you who you are. But right. anything you want to drop on here, you know what I mean. You can do it right now. We we'll definitely put the links in the bio as well. Yeah, man. I am the corner um, on everything. You can just put that in your search engine, and I'll be all over the place. Um, yeah, and just and watch. That's not Christian, man. Like y'all are necessary. I was telling you. I was telling Jay the same thing, man. Like. The space needs you guys like it really does because opinions that. opinions need to be challenged with boldness and that's what y'all do you know what i'm saying and y'all are like the only ones right now who are who are challenging people so god bless you guys man y'all doing a great job and y'all are necessary yo yo appreciate, appreciate that. those kind appreciate of words that, man, man. bless to you yo thanks for the time man you know just taking the time out the you know to yo, join you know. Yo, this yeah. dude dropping this, this dude's dropping songs. He's feeding families, man. Word. You know what I mean? Definitely appreciate He's your outside. time coming on here. You know what I mean? Yeah, for real, for real. <laughs> you taking up dude. north trips to Buffalo and all that. You know? Right. Yeah, man. Listen, send me that special send me, teams. Send me that track that you got. Um <laughs> Monster Tava, don't worry, this man. Guy, we won't man. let nobody I wanna know. See <laughs> I wanna see something right quick. <laughs> I wanna hear the ball. Let me hold that. <laughs> Yo, let me tell you something, bro. Like Man, you it's crazy because I was telling I was telling the homie before I when it comes to stuff like that, yeah, I still need to grow in Christ because man, I was I was <laughs> so excited to like take the thought out. I was so excited. I yo, I was writing, I was writing furiously, I was writing fast. I was like, yo, why am I so happy to say something to this dude right now? <laughs> this dude went, oh dog. It was just flowing, wasn't it? He went, yo, oh, he, he went like, bishop yeah. with the burner. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. And I was like, yo, because that's a part of me that never gets spoken to ever in this space. Nobody does that. You know what I'm saying? So it was just like, yo, I get to have some fun. Let's have some fun, you know, right. but. That shouldn't be what I see as fun. <laughs> I mean, I felt like it would have been dope because that probably would have started something or maybe other artists coming at him, you know what I mean? And they're like younger artists who are overlooked, you know what I mean? Or, you know, I, I think Z Zadok has said something like, yo, you know what I mean? Like him defending Seven, you know what I mean? Because he's coming from Seven camp. Not so much Seven speaking back, but him just speaking on that behalf, you know what I mean? Or... Any other artist that's just like, yo, you know what I mean? It'd be, it would have been cool. It'd have been like a challenge in a way, but. But it ain't no different than like the battle rapping, right? I mean. Right. You yeah. But Lowe's does it, right? Yo, it's, yo, I think it's it's touchy. It's touchy in this space. I'm playing devil's advocate. <laughs> I understand. I understand it's touchy, but I like there's, there's, a, there's a benefit that's being overlooked to that situation. Because when you know it's love ahead of time, when you know, right. you, man, got love for you and it's not negative yeah. it turns into something totally different it really right. turns into a, a sharpening session you know what i'm saying so right but unless but unless you've been in in, in, in competition like that, I was in, come on we all from areas like that it's competition our whole life you yeah. know what i'm saying mm -hmm. whether good or bad so you don't look at all competition as negative like it's part right. of your life 
absolutely, you know? man. You see that you see that in sports, even like even in the streets when you slap boxing with somebody, or if you did right. any type of martial arts, you know what I mean? You you have to spar with somebody in order to get better. That's the only way. Even even fighters before they go for a big fight, they hire people to spar with before the right. main event. You know what I mean? So I think I think it would definitely would have been great for CHH because a lot of these dudes would have to step up the bars, you know what I mean? Which I I, th- I think I think it would have helped too because I, I feel like a lot of artists are stagnant, you know what I mean? I, I think I, you don't see that a lot from from GOM because everybody's a killer. Like lyrically, I think anybody on GOM could stand alone, you know, everybody. And you don't see that with a lot of camps, you know what I mean? And I think it shows in in you know in the lyrics. But yeah, let me say this. Um I don't think it's any different than like kind of like what you want to do right now, right? Because a lot of the stuff you're doing with Fern came about as like, yo, people, we, they're not doing this right now. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, and by the joints you're doing, it's it's almost them hood street joints, but, right. you know, it's, it's different. You know what I'm saying? So like you hitting, like y'all creating a lane there. Yeah, by by yeah. doing it, you know what I'm saying. So, I mean, that's dope. I mean, I, I think that's sort of similar there. We're trying to create a space where something like that could happen in the future, and be right. okay. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of times, a lot of times, somebody won't tell you that they can't do what you do. They'll just tell you that what you're doing is wrong, so that you won't mm-hmm. do it, and <laughs> so that they won't have to. Wow, that's do neat. It. right. Like. It's like, yo, you guys are you guys are battling each other, and that's bad. But what they really want to say is, I can't do nothing with that. Like, if I wanted to battle you too, I couldn't do it. So I'm gonna make you feel bad for being better at me than something. You know what I'm Shut saying? Up. And that's what Shut I want to speak to in people. Like, <laughs> like, it's all right to be honest. Like, I'm I'm not a basketball player. I'm not a pro athlete. If LeBron James dunks from 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 the baseline, I'm not gonna be like, yo, dunking is a sin because <laughs> that's I not can't fair, dunk. <laughs> right? Like, I just can't dunk. That's just what it is. So, like, if you see dudes rapping back and forth, don't demonize it because you can't do it. Just sit, right. just say, you're out my lane. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? But, you know, God going to get the glory anyway. Yo, that's like, real, the, the real going to survive, yo. The real's going to survive. Like, they are. Yo, those are the type of dudes that get mad when you win in and then be like, I'm taking my ball home. Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I think that's dope, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, it ain't been done, but y'all, y'all, y'all got it. Like y'all could blaze that trail right there. It, y'all keep pushing like that, man. That that set up a whole new, yo. That's a whole new, you know. what I'm saying lane type of thing, yo. That'll be dope. Yeah, definitely. Ah, uh, sure. It can be done though. That joint is fire. So I need that on um um. Well, it, it, it ain't. It's just on YouTube right now, right? Yeah, so I'm, I'm, I, we will, I, I was gonna release it on another platform. I mean, we are spit into another, you know, industry right. beat. So, but yeah, so you can't really, yeah. Bandcamp it, don't care, right? Yeah, but it's but it, it's it's a cinematic, it's the cinematic experience that we push yeah. for, right? You know what I'm saying, so I want I want you to, I want the, the the viewer to see the totality of it, like the imagery. The lyrics on screen and the, the lyrics that you're hearing, you know what I'm saying? Like even the font, our font choice is specific, right? You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? So, Yo, that's facts like, though. Yo, that's you know? facts because you you sent me the you sent me the track ahead of time, and I thought that joint was flexing. dope. Yes, yes, I'm flexing. That's right. <laughs> he, he sent me that joint, and, and and then I I didn't think it could it could get better. He's like, it's not finished, right? And then this dude sent me the, the video. And yeah. I was like, whoa, you know what I mean? I was like, I was like, wow, you know what I mean? So, so I, I, I definitely agree that the cinematic experience plays a big role too, because you know what I mean? The, the lyrics and the song, you know, the, and then, and then it's, it's, it's uh, there's the typography, right? It's like a lyric video, you know? Mm-hmm. And then it just take, the music is like, it's like a time machine, man. It take me back to that era, you know what I mean? Because of the, the the films that you guys picked as well. It took me back to that era, you know. It just it just connected so so well, you know what I mean? Like you guys really put some thought into it. Yeah, yeah. Praise God, yo. I we just wanted we wanted we wanted that reaction. That's what we wanted. Like for those who feel like auto tune rules the world, like <laughs> we we just wanted to give y'all and give us a moment to just enjoy rap again. 
You know what I'm saying? Um, and just just have some fun, man. Just have some fun listening to hip hop, making hip hop. Like it just yeah. it, for us rappers, it hasn't been fun for a while. That's how I feel like. Like for us rapper rappers, like mm-hmm. unless, unless you want to do a thousand melodies, it don't seem like this is your time. So like we just wanted to rap again. Yeah, that's dope too. Cause like y'all said, for those that are um, you know, you gotta be even more intentional, more creative what you're doing by not cursing. You know what I'm saying? Right. So you got to make sure everything you spit in is heard. So yeah, that joint, that, that, that's what, that's what makes me like it even more makes what, what makes it even more dope. Cause you know what I'm saying? What you spit and what you trying to spit, you know, you, you could easily slip some language out <laughs> on, on them type of joints. All right. But you got to be real intentional about it, man. And that make it even more dope though. Cause I could still, you know, bust your behind and I ain't even got a curse. Like, right. That's dope. And, and you can listen to it in the car with the kids. <laughs> and that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, and tell them to fight back. Right. We still, <laughs> fight we back. Still, talk, still talk greasy, though. We just talk right. greasy in a, in, a, in a more like, it's like, I don't feel like, I don't feel like, I don't feel like there's any more innocent ears on planet Earth right nah. now. With the advent of technology, like yeah. everybody, everybody could get it at any second. Like it could be a commercial and then your baby's whole life get changed. You know what I'm saying? Right. Right. So it's like the whole world is rated all right now. Mm-hmm. Everything. The cartoons is rated all like everything. Even like I seen an ice cream commercial that made me look crazy. Like at it, like, yo, why you, why are you eating the ice cream like that? Like, it's just ice cream. Like it's yeah. crazy. They everything. You know what I'm saying? So wow. I'm not talking, I'm not making music that's kid friendly because ain't no more kids to me. It's just adults that ain't old yet because of <laughs> what they've been exposed to. So I'm talking greasy though. I'm talking greasy, but I don't got to use profanity with you because I want you to know there's still a standard to uphold, but I don't want to hold reality from you. You know right. what I'm saying? But we talk greasy though. Like, like Fern talks greasy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> right. Like we're not gonna we're not gonna stoop to nobody else's level. We still gonna be ourselves. You know what I'm saying? Yo, the Bible talks about the realities of life, man. You know what I mean? Like, so why should the bars be any different? You know, like whole families got murked. You know what I mean? Like all kinds of stuff. You know what I mean? Like dudes got nails through their through their ears <laughs> while they were sleeping. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> all kinds of crazy stuff, man. <laughs> nope. Now the Bible, the Bible is definitely a, a, a rated R book. Yeah. But then we have then we have to reassess what we consider rated R though. Because I believe all all the all the bloodshed in the Bible is necessary. That's what I believe. Absolutely. So if I'm necessary, then I have to change how I look at things of that nature. You know what I'm saying? And it's basically like, you know, the Bible is the word of God to me. So I don't, I don't, I don't look at it as a green light to create those scenarios in my own life. Right. You know what I'm saying? But I'm not going to, I'm not going to demonize all situations that have to do with those kind of situations. Cause they're in the Bible, man. There's a lot of murder in the Bible, bro. A mm-hmm. lot of people get smoked. Whole families get smoked. Yeah. Like Saul, Saul got his crown taken from him. Cause he wouldn't smoke everybody and everything. Like, think about that, man. Right. Right. Then, so it's like people can people confront on this faith and this belief system like it's all bubbles and roses if they want. But the documentation says otherwise, man. Right. You know, what right. I mean? and that's the, the world we live in needs that kind of message. It needs that kind of wake up call. You know what I'm saying? Right. You can love somebody, but be realistic about life. Like you can right. you can be compassionate and love your neighbor and still tell them. Yo, this is a real, real thing that's that's happening. Like, you got to be able to keep that balance. You know what I'm saying? And right, God right, is, right. God is the only way we can keep that. Absolutely, man. Trust the Lord, but lock your doors and keep the hammer. I like that. <laughs> I like. I like that a lot. That's, that's fine. on a shirt. <laughs> that's the next shirt. <laughs> that's on the shirt. It's coming. It's coming. Yo, I, I, that's fire, man. <laughs> Drop, that's not Christian.com. Right, Check it know. out. Use promo code TNC10. You know what I mean? To get 10% off. Get your watch your mouth beloved t-shirts. Get your oh. Christian podcast t-shirts. All that good stuff. <laughs>